We need an elevator. We are now in the playing room. The keyboard closest to us is what's actually connected to the bells, as evidenced by the cables running from the ceiling to the keyboard. The keyboard behind it is what we use for practice. This is a xylophone type setup that allows us to ideally hammer out all our mistakes before we play for everyone to hear. In a moment, we'll be going up these steps into the tower. You can see from the view that we're pretty high up. We can go even higher via this ladder that will take us into the belfry. The room on the left is actually where the automatic system for the Westminster chime is stored. That rings every quarter of the hour and every hour. And while that plays on its own, all songs are played on the keyboards downstairs. Let's climb at our own risk. This is the Belfry. To our left is the heaviest bell, weighing at 3,300 pounds. The second heaviest bell is right next to it. When walking through, we have to be careful not to trip on things on ground. All bells have mallets on the inside but only some of them have hammers positioned on the outside. And that's because the hammers are associated with the Westminster chime, which does not use every note. The mallets are associated with the keyboard. And when we open this latch, See that we're quite high above ground. OSHA requires our ladders to change direction every 15 feet. Our ladder is 30 feet. Putting up a sign is easier than constructing a new ladder.